Hello everybody, this is Betavirus. I'm actually showing you guys the auto hotkey object mover and how to fix a couple of issues that people have been talking about. Now, as I'm sure a lot of you have figured out, whenever you move an object inside of another object, sometimes you get this flashing texture issue. And the easiest way to kind of resolve this is to move it down, up, forward, a little bit more than the other. Now, in my opinion, moving it by an entire one degree is rather drastic and noticeable. So in this example, we're going to go ahead and click on this one, drop it down, and you can see that it kind of really, really does stick out. And you view it from an angle, you can kind of see the seams. So I want to go ahead and move it back up one, and then I'm going to go ahead and modify its position by less than one. So in this case, 0 0.01. One, or actually, let's just do point one. As you can see, not nearly as drastic. You don't see any extra seams right here where you saw it earlier. This, unfortunately, still has a line in it, but that's because it's merging two meshes. But they're not flashing, which is the whole point. Um, you also don't notice the extra dark color on these little grids because they are actually only so minorly off that they actually look seamless. Now another issue that people have talked about is whenever you move an object or twist an object. So in this case you can kind of see how it got blurry. Now for most people one way to do it is just to go ahead and pick up the object and place it back down once you've moved it into position. Now in rare occasions that can actually cause the entire piece to reset back to its position, its original position, um, if it was drastically changed previously. So the better way to do it is go ahead and highlight the object. Let's go and make it blurry again. And kind of the same thing we did earlier. Just go ahead and modify the position by 0 0.0001. Gets rid of the blur. No accidental reset of the object. No additional movement. And blur is gone. Now another thing is for like this barn. As a lot of you guys can kind of see. The normal barn has holes in it. No one likes the holes. They're friggin' annoying. So what I normally do, I go ahead and place an actual roof piece inside so it looks seamless. Now in this one, this is very tedious work, but you know if you're a perfectionist like me, it's worthwhile. That's if I move it by one degree. It's just so glitchy. You can see where the bottom piece moves through. Just to kind of give you more of an example, let's go ahead and move it down. That's what the original roof piece looks like. So we're going to go move it back into place. And of course it's all blurry. So hopefully that kind of helps you guys with understanding what I do in order to kind of get rid of the blur easily and not accidentally reset my objects and how to get rid of the little flashing texture when you're overlaying pieces like this. Um, normally these two pieces sit like that. So, all right, well, if you have any questions, feel free to message me in the comments.